Hi guys, welcome once again. This time, it's going to be vacation vlog and we're going to talk about my vacation to Portugal. It started off in Faro and the first thing that we did was walk through the city, discover it. Overall, checking the vibe. The building you're seeing before you, by the way, is the Carmelite Church. I always hype myself up before traveling by searching uh, for exciting things to do and this church was definitely one of them. Why was I so excited to go to this church? Um, yeah, to see the Chapel of Bones, the Capella dos Ossos. I've never seen something like that. I was like, huh? A chapel with bones? What does that look like? And what's the origin of all of that? So it was basically just interest. Back to the church. The Portuguese name is Igreja de Nossa Senhora do Carmo and it is one of the Algarve's most dazzling churches. It has twin towers and it is built in the Baroque style. This church was completed in 1719 under the rule of Charles V. After an earthquake in 1755, some restoring had to be done and this was paid with Brazilian gold. We are now walking through the garden of the Capella dos Ossos. This is a 19th century chapel and it was totally built from bones and skulls of over a thousand monks as a reminder of earthly impermanence. That's just a bougie way of saying that we need to appreciate life and that it can be fleeting. So just make the best of it. Bone chapels are a Catholic tradition and it is a way to honor the deceased. The Maritime Museum in Faro is definitely a place you should visit. It costs less than one euro and you learn a lot about the Portuguese seafaring traditions that goes back to the times of the Phoenicians. The collection includes scale models of fishing boats and some of the seafaring vessels connected to Portugal's age of discovery as well as fishing equipment and some interesting finds. After that, we went to the cutest little shop um, in Faro called Conservera de Portugal. I must say you can find it in every big Portuguese city. They sell sardines in cans. As you all know, sardines are a traditional Portuguese export item. So this is what the streets of Faro look like. It's like old nostalgia. When you're in Faro, it's definitely important to do a couple of tours, sea tours. Um, we started by going to the different islands. We went to Faro, we went to Ila Armona, and we even did a, a sea safari. Uh, I'm going to tell you more about the sea safari later, but here we're in the port of Faro. When the tide is low, you can see a lot of uh, natives on the banks searching for clams and other shell-like fishes that they sell to the local uh, restaurants. One thing that must be said is that they serve excellent seafood in the restaurants. So we're now on the deserted island, it's called Ila Deserta. And when you do the trips, what they basically do is like you stay there for like 10 minutes and walk around the island. Uh, no one lives over there. It's just one, one building where you can get something to drink or something to eat. 
as you can see it didn't take long so now we're on our way to Faro that's a bigger island there in the neighborhood and it has a big lighthouse and it's quite fun we're now in another port this is the port of Lagos and Lagos has everything that Faro has to offer and more if you were ever wondering what Lagos means it means lakes Lagos is one of the most visited cities in Algarve and Portugal due to the tourist friendly beaches, rock formations, bars, restaurants and hotels and a vibrant summer nightlife and parties. Lagos was the historic center of the Portuguese Age of Discovery and frequent home of Henry the Navigator. It is a historical shipyard that overall played a vital role in maritime history. The waterways in Lagos are absolutely gorgeous and you haven't seen nothing yet. This trip will continue and then you will see um, the rocks, the, the, the nice beaches. It's definitely worth a trip worth taking. This is a time period that the Portuguese explorers sailed across the whole world and made important discoveries. consisted of exploring the amazing and widely known caves of the Ponte de Pidari, the Point of Mercy, which fulfilled the gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous coastline of Lagos. We saw many small beaches, unique rock formations that resembled animals. All of this went along with amazing stories of our boatsmen. When you uh, reach the Ponte de Pidari, you will experience a um, lagoon filled with turquoise water, which is surrounded by beautiful cliffs. We also entered a couple of caves with unforgettable and natural beauty. 